Actually, I was on the North twice. My first midshipman cruise in 1956 was on board the North where we went to Barcelona and Greenwich, Scotland, which is the port for uh, uh, Glasgow, Scotland. So we got to see that area there and got to tour some of uh, the English areas. Uh, when I finally graduated from college and was commissioned, I could hardly uh, contain myself when I discovered I was again assigned to the North for my permanent uh, duty station. So I uh, ended up spending another three years on the North at that point in time as an officer. It was intriguing. I'd never seen a naval ship before. I'd never been to sea before except in a digging and a fishing uh, uh, boat on Lake Erie. Uh, but the more I saw of it, the more I uh, thought this is something I would enjoy experiencing. And uh, I had a good time in the Navy. I had good experiences all the way around. I had a degree in electrical engineering at that point, and I was assigned to the uh, uh, OI division, which is radarmen and electronic technicians. So it was a good fit for me. I had background in that uh, and uh, an appreciation for what these people had to know in order to be able to do their jobs. Uh, it fit well from another uh, aspect of things in that uh, I could let the uh, pet, uh, senior petty officers basically run the division. Uh, I didn't have to get involved in the nitty gritty the day by day. I had good people. Uh, they didn't need to be told to do this and do that. You didn't need to be on their backs all the time to, uh, on petty stuff and uh, things like this. As I've often heard it happen. And, uh, maybe some cases it did, but here I could uh, uh, keep my men out of trouble. They could keep me out of trouble. And, and, we had a good working relationship uh, while still maintaining what uh, of necessity had to be a separation between officers and the uh, crew. Well, there wasn't any major changes that took place during the, uh, the three years I was aboard. Uh, about the biggest thing that I can remember didn't involve me directly, but when we went in the uh, shipyard in uh, uh, March of 61, uh, we went in for a fleet rehabilitation and modernization program, uh, which was to extend the life of the North for another 10 years. And in fact, that's exactly what they got out of it, uh, eventually I found out. But uh, they replaced our sonar with a better sonar. Uh, the sonar we had one on one aboard had a range of maybe 4,000 yards, which is about two miles. And, that's not an awful lot when you're in the big ocean out there in submarines and things like this. The new sonar and SQS-23 had a range of about 10 miles. It changed our tactics. It changed uh, uh, a lot of things because now we could see better, uh, farther out. Uh, we could use uh, aircraft. Uh, I was an air controller while I was aboard ship is one of my duties. So the controlling uh, slow planes, the F-2F, uh, was a low and slow submarine hunting plane. Uh, we also had helicopters that had dipping sonar. They'd drop a sonar ball into the water and listen for submarines and would use all of these tactics to locate and well, in wartime why it would be destroy submarines in the area. And in our case why a green flare said the submarine was surrendering, he would surf it and run out and would do it all over again and things like this uh, uh, as the exercises took place.